Hi, I'm David Mills. I'm a senior product manager on the System Center marketing team. And today I am with Edwin Yoon, who is also a senior product manager on the System Center marketing team, who specializes in virtualization. Um, and so today, Edwin, I wanted to have a quick conversation about what Microsoft is doing for virtualization for a small or mid-sized business. And right now, there are a lot of solutions out there. There's a lot of interest with uh, larger IT departments in virtualizing. And it seems like some of these other solutions can be fairly expensive and fairly technically complex to set up. So in light of that, I'd like to hear more about what Microsoft's doing to make this affordable and easy for a mid-sized business to adopt. Well, really what we have is we have three products that have come out or are going to come out. Uh, one is Microsoft Hyper-V Server 2008 R2, which is that base hypervisor. And this is a free hypervisor that anyone can go ahead and download from Microsoft.com and get started. And if they know how to use Windows, if they know how to configure Windows, and they know how to use things like that, then they can go ahead and get started with Microsoft Hyper-V Server 2008 R2. Uh, and then we have System Center Essentials 2010, okay. or SKI. Yeah. And that brings this unified interface that brings together uh, software updates and software management and deployment. It brings together operations management and monitoring so you can see what your systems are doing. And now we've added the functions of Virtual Machine Manager right into System Center Essentials. Oh, okay. So now SKI can create VMs, it can manage VMs, it can convert physical to virtual. So now you can bring that power of virtualization so you can do server consolidation and reduce the number of servers that you have, which is very important to small and medium businesses. Yeah, that's great. And then you can get bi better business continuity, you get high availability with uh, Hyper-V Server. And Perfect. then you can add uh, DPM, or Data Protection Manager 2010, and that's going to give you new options for disaster recovery and backup. It'll back up the physical machines. It'll back up the virtual machines. It'll back up all the applications inside both. So you get backup and protection at every single level. And you don't have to worry about is it a physical machine or a virtual machine or what I need to do here and there. You have this one console with System Center Essentials. You can leverage the hypervisor. You can leverage the backup software and see all the statuses and all the maintenance from one console. This sounds really great. So why don't we take a quick look at uh, the new console for SKI 2010 if you've got just a minute. Absolutely. Thanks. So here we are actually in the System Center Essentials 2010 console. Um, and I, what I like saying, David, is that this console is easy to use because it's very much like Outlook. Yep. So instead of having mail, calendar, and contacts, you have computers and monitoring, updates and software. Instead of having mail folders, now you can have computer groups, so you'll have it, objects to monitor. And instead of having emails, now we get computer information and the information about it. And then instead of having a mail preview, you get the dedicated information about the systems. Yeah, it looks great. So in, in this case, actually, what we're doing is we're monitoring systems. And actually, if we, we go back in, we're monitoring Hyper-V Server, we're monitoring 2003, Windows 7, Windows XP. So we're doing a mixture of virtualization and physical. We're doing a mixture of server and desktops in multiple ver versions. And here we're managing them as physical machines. Okay. But what's really great in 2010 in System Center Essentials is that we took that great feedback we got from customers. We've made some UI changes and cleaned things up and make it easier to use and better groupings. But now we've integrated that functionality that we had in Virtual Machine Manager right into uh, System Center Essentials. So when I clicked on all virtual machines, now I get virtual machine views. And when I get the preview, I get virtual machine information. I have virtual machine actions that I can do. I have that screenshot or that snapshot. And if I go ahead and right click and hit connect to virtual machine, then I can actually connect to that virtual machine and I can take control and use wow, it. Wow, that's really slick. And then you could go ahead on the right hand side and you can see we can create new virtual machines. We can import virtual hard disks so we can take existing hard disks and make machines. We have templates and we have these virtual machine reports that we had in Virtual Machine Manager. Now we've brought it into System Center Essentials. That's really neat because there, there are solutions out there where people are having to open multiple consoles just to manage their environment and really hear what we're delivering for the SMB space is it's a single console to work out of, whether your, your server is physical or virtual. Um, what sorts of things can you do? Can you create a new virtual machine, live migration, things like that? Do you get that functionality with oh, uh, SKI 2010? Absolutely. You get all that functionality that we had in Virtual Machine Manager. So we can all go ahead and, and click New Virtual Machine. And if I click New Virtual Machine, it'll bring up some templates. You can sit there and configure the processor, the memory, the nice. hard disk, and the network. It'll distribute it out. Uh, another really nice feature, so we'll go ahead and cancel out of this, and let me back out. So if I go ahead and click on all Windows computers, 
So I'm going to click on my Windows computers, and now I'm managing those physical boxes. So I've got a physical box here, this XP box. And if I actually right-click on that box, I can see that I can connect to it as a virtual machine. I can delete the virtual machine. I can install guest services. But even better, if I go to the physical box, if I right-click on that, I get all the property information about that. And I can also go ahead, and depending on how the machines are configured, I can go ahead and actually convert that from a physical machine to a virtual machine right here. So that's one of those great things about managing it all together, both physical and virtual. I can literally click on a vir physical machine, convert it to a virtual machine, and still manage it from that one interface. Perfect. Well, that was a great overview, Edwin. I really appreciate that. And I'm pretty excited, too, about this coming to market for specifically for those smaller customers because they definitely see the value of virtualizing, the cost savings that it can bring to them, and we're able to deliver um, an integrated way for them to be able to virtualize and manage all of their stuff. Absolutely. It's really bringing the power of virtualization, the power of systems management to these customers. Cool. Thanks.